Hey guys and welcome back to the AC Milan career mode, it's been a few days and I do want to apologise for that, I also explained it in the Manchester City career mode episode that I've been busy over the weekend but now I'm back, fully back to focus on this gem of a career mode, you guys are enjoying it and I'm glad to see you are enjoying it, if you can leave a like down below as well that would be absolutely awesome, you guys have kept smashing the like so far on this season which is absolutely incredible. In today's episode we've got three games, probably one of them is going to be simmed. This game against Pescara is going to be a few days after the Genoa game. I may have to rotate my side and as they're a weak team and we're playing them at home, I really think simming, I can get away with that against a side like that. We've not only got Genoa after that, we've got Palermo as well away from home. Those are the two games I'll definitely be playing and hopefully in between we'll have another youth scout update because I'm always interested to look at those in a long running career mode. They're a very integral part of the team at some point, not right now, we're only in Season 1. But anyways, we've got the first game of the episode away from home against Genoa, and we need to pick up three points. As you can see by the league standings, we are joint top with Roma. It's looking good. Baca is in the top scorer's charts as well with six goals. And we just came off the back of beating Juve, which actually reminds me, I'm going to bring the half length down to four minutes. The less time there is in a game, the more difficult it is for me to actually beat teams. And I want to challenge myself a little bit more. So from now on, four minutes instead of five minute half. Milan will be turning up to Genoa with the away kit for once. Donnarumma in net, De Silio, Romagnoli, Paletta and Calabria in defence. Kuchka, Bonaventura and Sosa in the midfield. Memphis, Depay, Carlos Baca and Suso up front. Pretty much our strongest possible side. I also want to tell you that uh, Donnarumma has now gone up to an 80 rating, which is absolutely fantastic. A tough test at Genoa. Can we do it on four minute halves? I couldn't quite show you this, but the fitness levels on most of my players are not looking too great. Only Suso is fully fit and Donnarumma as well, obviously. So, uh, considering our team isn't quite as strong physically as I want them to be, this could prove to be a huge test. We're still the best defensive team in the league, which is fantastic. Credit to Donnarumma and the back four, six goals conceded. Let's keep it that way. Juraj Kuchka looking to find the pass. Carlos Baca in space into Davide Calabria. Calabria holds onto the ball. Into Kuchka. We know we can hit them. We may as well try it. It's a good save by Perrin. Memphis the pie. Good bit of space there. It's opening up for him. He's looking for that pass into Suso. Suso is one on one and he finishes it. Against his former team, Fernandez Suso opens the lead or takes the lead for Milan with the opening goal. But once again, a credit has to go to Memphis the pie, who's really been unleashed and is revitalizing his career here at Milan. He wasn't too great at Manchester United, but he's back to his old ways. Just running at teams, creating space, creating danger, and we've scored the first goal early on, which is a good sign. Basically confirming what I just said about being in control. We had two shots, two on target, 54% uh, possession, and most of the possession has been in their half. Only 15% of the entire possession has been in our half, so that just shows you how dominant we are. Even with this very unfit side at the moment, I'm going to make some changes. La Padula comes on for Baca. Uh, Lozano's going to come on for Sosa, we're going to put him down the wings and for that's going to be it for now. I'm going to bring on Locatelli at some point, but right now those two changes should be enough to uh, to keep to keep bossing this game basically. Luxalt is getting away from Kuchka and now Paletta needs to close down. Defended, not really do well there, but Donnarumma called into action for the first time and he deals with it well. Through to Lozano, look at the space. Genoa have pushed up and it's going to cost them. Lozano Irving is doing his best to find space, but it's not easy. We've got a man inside. It's uh, Lapadula with a brilliant turn and an equal finish. Lapadula out of absolutely nowhere. Usually doesn't play too often in this Milan side, but what a goal that is. It looked simple. It really did, but I can appreciate that turn and that finish. Incredible from Lapadula. And he shows Baca how it's done. To be fair, Bakker's on six goals this season anyways, but if that is what your backup striker can do, he just he made it look so easy, but trust me, that was fantastic from Lapadula. Lapadula into uh, Bonaventura. Bonaventura can look back for Lapadula. Can he make it two goals for himself? No, it's blocked. For these final few minutes, Locatelli is going to come on for uh, Kuchka. We've got about five minutes to hold on. Genoa have been putting on the pressure. We haven't been able to create many chances ourselves after we got that second goal. Hopefully, we're going to see the game out. And it's going to end 2-0. Suso, with a little bit of pace he has left, he's trying to go forward. He's found the man in space. It's Bonaventura. Out wide to Memphis the pie. Memphis inside. He's still going. Memphis deserves a goal. He's brought down and he's going to get his chance from the spot. That's the rule here at Milan when I'm in charge. The man who wins the penalty gets to take it. 
Uh, if it's the Vlender, I may see it differently, but uh, in this case, Memphis the Pie is going to step up against Mattia Perin, and Perin pulls off an incredible save. Unbelievable. Memphis towards the back post. It's lovely. It's Locatelli. No, it's Paletta who makes it 3-0. Memphis gets another assist straight after missing that penalty. He's not, you know, he, does, he doesn't let it get to him. He crosses it in for Paletta. He can't miss. Lovely header down hole. I double tapped it this time as opposed to just tapping it once. I've missed too many headers like that. Gabriel Paletta sees uh, his name on the score sheet. 3-0 dominant performance from AC Milan. And that's the final whistle. 3-0 away from home. You couldn't have asked for anything more considering our dominant performance and the fact that we were away from home against a relatively tough side. Uh, when it comes to man of the match, there's a lot of contenders. Like, Lapadula did nothing wrong when he came on as a substitute. He did everything perfectly. Suso, Bonaventura, Balletta as well. It's going to be one hell of a choice again. I wanted to give it to Memphis Depay for his two assists, but he did miss that penalty. You could see it two ways. It's a fantastic save. You can't blame Memphis Depay, or you can blame him and say he should have scored. Um, regardless, I think it's about time we reward one of our defenders. And Gabriel Paletta not only kept a clean sheet, he scored the 3-0 on the corner. Gabriel Paletta, for me, gets man in the match. If you disagree, then uh, let me know in the comments down below. The good news is uh, Roma have actually dropped points. They lost the last game in the league, so we are now on top on our own. And once again, I'm going to try and think of ways to make this series a little bit more difficult. I know Cutsy Gaming is doing his series with adjusted sliders to make it more challenging and more difficult. At the end of this, this episode, I will consider doing that as well. You know, because Milan shouldn't really be on top at this stage in the career mode, but we are, which I'm happy about. But if I can make it more difficult and uh, it's going this well, I probably should consider it. And like I said, the game against Pescara will be simmed. We're at the San Siro. I'm expected to win. This is the team I'm going to put out there. It's rotated. Lozano, Baca and Holm up front. Uh, Fernandez, Bertolacci and Sosa in the middle. Vanjoni, Zapata, Gomez, Abate and Donnarumma in net. A, a relatively strong side, considering this is our second string team with the exception of Donnarumma. Um, Sosa and Baca. It looks good and it's good to know that we have strength in numbers and strength in depth because this is where it matters. The games like this where we have to rotate our team a little bit, you want to win. They lost their last three games heavily as well against Atalanta 3-0. So you would expect this to be a straightforward victory for AC Milan and Lozano does open the score. The Mexican finally gets a start and rewards himself and the team with a goal in the first half. Into the second half we go, Ignazio Abate manages, manages to get sent off inside 10 minutes with two yellow cards, which is not good. Memphis Depay has come on for Honda, Biragi equalises. Obviously, Abate, that's going to have its consequences. You just cost us two points, mate. I have a few old players in the team still, Sosa, Baca and Paleta. Abate lost his spot to Calabria a couple of weeks ago. And considering he's now been given the chance to redeem himself, and he hasn't, he's actually made things worse. I think it's fair to say that our first choice right back in this career mode at the moment is Davide Calabria. And this is the way I'm going to go with this career mode. Slowly but surely replace the old players when it's time. Abate just ruined his career at Milan for himself. Injury for Paletta, he's out for nine days. That's not too bad. We've got Gustavo Gomez or Christian Zapata to jump in if needed. It's time for the second and final game of today's episode against Palermo away from home again. The side has been changed a little bit due to suspensions and injuries. Donnarumma and Net, Vesilio Romagnoli, Gustavo Gomez and La Vida Calabria in the back four. Very young and inexperienced, but these guys have proven to me before that they can defend. So I have no, co no problems with putting faith in these four boys. Kuchka, Bonaventura and Suso in the midfield. Suso ahead of Sosa. And the front three is Memphis Depay, Carlos Baca and Herving Lozano who deserves a chance after his good performance in the game against Pescara. Let's head into the game and hopefully get back to winning ways. We are still on top after that draw but Roma and Lazio have caught up to us. They're in within one point reach of uh, getting to us. So we need to make sure that we get back to winning ways here today so we can end the episode on top. Diamanti finds Bruno Enrique. What a pass and it's just why they should have and could have taken the lead right there. Well played. Bonaventura now into De Silio. Where is Carlos Baca? We need to find Baca. De Silio needs to cut inside because he didn't have the option initially. But there is Carlos Baca and it's a lovely finish by the Colombian to give Milan the lead. 14 minutes into the game. Puts his goal tally this season on 7 and is battling it out to be the top scorer in the Serie A this season. Can he beat Higuain this time around? That's the question. What a finish by Baca. The keeper gets a hand to it. Giovini, credit to him. 
but the shot was too accurate, too high up in the, the, that corner to get it out, I guess. Carlos Baca, goal number seven, 1 0 Milan. Paul Aventura is waiting for Memphis the Depay to make that run. Probably shouldn't even have played it in the air. Rispoli chasing down on Memphis. Memphis goes past him. Memphis the Depay finesses it. Good effort just wide, half an hour into the game. Once again, Milan in complete control. Memphis the Depay. Lovely bit of skill to get past Rispoli. He avoids the sliding challenge as well. Memphis the Depay still going into Carlos Baca. Baca lines it up and it's deflected. Good save by Giovanni. Or Giovini, sorry. Lozano, the short corner, we know what we're doing here. There it is, Bonaventura, and it's saved by Giovini. Incredible save on the line. Calabria cleans up the mess. Lozano's on it again, he's looking for Baca. Not the best cross, though. Once again, very happy with the play in the first half. I think we've been in control for uh, the most part. Possession relatively even, slightly in their favour, but we've had the chances. Potentially should have scored one more goal. Uh, the goal line clearance by Giovini was incredible on the header. But uh, other than that, you know, no complaints. Just keep pushing like this and we should get rewarded with three points and stay on top at the end of this episode, which is absolutely incredible. Morganella whips on in. Donnarumma comes out and claims. Lovely work by uh, Gigi Donnarumma. He's going to try and throw it quickly into Lozano, who's not really being chased by Rajkovic. Lozano cuts inside. Lozano still going. He waits for that run. It's uh, Memphis Depay. He's going to hit that on his left and he scores. Memphis Depay makes it 2-0 and it all started with Gianluigi Donnarumma who set up Lozano for a run at the defence and we know both these players Lozano and Depay can do that. Depay takes a touch, bangs it. The keeper, Giovini, doesn't look too great on that. He's been better in this game. He's been very good to be fair to him but that right there looked a bit dodgy Memphis Depay has his second goal of the Serie A season very happy to see that Locatelli has gone up to a 70 rating he's going to come on for Suso who's a little bit tired it is what it is we end the game 2-0 here away from home against Palermo that's two wins when I played in the draw when I simmed so all in all very happy look at those stats as well not allowed the shot on target so Donnarumma left relatively um, without a job in this game man of the match Interesting choice yet again. Memphis Depay scored the goal. The assist was from uh, Irving Lozano. But Donnarumma set that up as well. He deserves credit for that. But it's got to be De Silio. Honestly, De Silio was up and down that wing time and time again. Didn't allow anything to happen down his side. Five out of five dribbles for a fullback is incredible. His passing was all right. You know, not the worst. And he actually got an assist as well, De Silio. I didn't even see that the first time around. So uh, for me, it's very, very clear as day. De Silio gets man of the match. We're going to sim forward hoping for a scout report. There's a few weeks between this one. I'm not even going to do training as I don't want to stunt the physical growth of my young players. I want the players to know, grow naturally as well. And we've got the Milan Derby coming up, which is good to see. We've got the scouting updates that I wanted and an international management offer that I'm not interested in. I'm not going to do international management this FIFA or maybe at some point, but not right now. Adrien Lecomte looks fantastic, 94 potential at the maximum, which is good enough for me, Barrette, no, uh, Barbier, no, two brothers in here, wow. Um, Gregor, Gregoire Barbier, I'm going to keep him in there, not reject him, everyone else is going to get rejected. Moving on to Mirbic, basically the Italian scout, we've got uh, Fabio Romano, looks good, sign him up straight away, good potential. And uh, Matteo Greco, fantastic potential, but a goalkeeper though. So I'm going to sign him up, but it's unlikely that he's going to get a future at this club. And to round it all off, the Brazilians as well are coming in and we've got pretty much no one. He's half decent, but he's a goalkeeper, so I'm not interested. And that, guys, is where I'm going to cut the episode. In the next one, we'll see the Milan derby against Inter. Very much looking forward to that. They're currently in fifth. They need the points to fight themselves back into the title race. If they win that game... They are back in it. We're not going to allow that, though. Uh, not only that, we've got Empoli away from home. Going to play that game as well. And then the home against Crotone, the game against Crotone at home. Potentially could see myself simming that one again. Uh, it all depends. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.